Courage and perseverance have a magical talisman before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish into thin air. My friends, we see everything down in the market today. When you look at some of these weekly candlesticks, particularly the first one we look at, the S&P 500, we're on the queues right now, let me switch over, you see that it looks like a green up candle is forming, and it is. Remember, Heiken Ashi candlesticks are measured differently, and in fact, I will put that training at the end of today's show, the latest one that we did a few, a couple of months ago. Very good for you if you don't fully understand what Heiken Ashi candlesticks are. They help us see the average pace of price movement. They're calculated differently than your standard high, open, low, close. We see the S&P 500 down for the day, 0.10%. We can see this latest two-day candle <clears throat> reflecting Friday and Monday. Look at that high volume there. We see where things were up on Friday, up in the morning on Monday, down in the afternoon, overall down for the day. But as the week starts off, the average pace is increasing. Volume is green also down at the bottom as we see. And not a lot of volume starting off, but again, it's got four more days to build. We'll see how the week continues to carry out. Look at the NASDAQ 100. We had small candle back on the week beginning the 10th, then on the 17th, another small candle, green, then a spinning top, and then up movement this week. We can see this two-day candle representing Friday and Monday, where things popped up on Friday. And again, slowing down Monday down just a little bit more than the S&P 0.11%. Look at the down move we see today in 20-year bonds, down 3.13%. Now we can see where we had, again, several times banging off this purple line, which shows us a ceiling. We had a down week beginning the 17th, the spinning top last week, but look at that volume there. And then this week starting off with a solid move low. You can see down in the morning piercing that trend line and going down even further in the afternoon with high volume on that half-day chart. And high volume also above the average on the two-day chart. We look at gold. Gold again going now into the third week of a doji. What do we think is happening here? Well, gold just can't get any purchase. Look how high the volume was. It means the insiders are selling gold and somebody's buying it, hoping it will go up. And it is not. This week we start off, again, the volume there is green. Or if those of you who know how we calculate this, it's based on what the closing price was. So it was above. That's why the volume is green on that, but we see a doji here down 0.45%. We also see some dojis here on the two day with that high volume. And we see things bounding up in the morning then rolling over in the afternoon on Monday on gold. Lastly, the big downer for the day, Bitcoin down 5.41%. We saw where Bitcoin banged up, high volume with the doji back on the week beginning the 17th, volume lower last week and then really hammering down on Monday. So we'll see where that takes us. As I told you guys, I'm traveling this week overseas, but I'm doing everything I can to bring you the shows in a timely manner. It's nice that I'm six hours ahead in Europe rather than hours behind going the other way. So we'll endeavor to get these things out to you. Maybe limited on some of the other stuff but I'll do everything I can to bring the shows to you. We always love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to reach out to us, cw at chartingwealth.com. Patreon members always, thank you for your support. God bless my friends. All the best from the team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.